I have some evidence that may lead that drop time is actually Bucky. What is good, Grey Gang? We're out today. It is stinking raining, but I don't care because we got to check a troll camera. Plus, I got a pretty epic conspiracy theory for you, and I kind of got evidence. Take that back. I definitely got evidence. But anyways, guys, we're coming up here on our first troll camera. It's actually looking this place. Now, this is where I shot Bucky the very first time, sitting right up there in that tree stand. And the reason I set the cagey troll camera here is because, one, I've never had a camera here this year. I want to just check it out, see if there's any deer moving through. And two, there's actually a scrape right here. Definitely a deer scrape. He is stinking destroyed it right here with his antlers. So, let's come on up here to the KG trail camera. And, uh, well, let's see what in the world this thing tries to tell us. Come here to replay, see how many pictures we got. 15. Okay, 15. That ain't bad. Let's just hope that some of those 15 have at least something. Oh, my gosh! Bro, that is a big deer. That is a big deer. I don't even know if y'all can see what we're looking at yet. All right, there's what we're looking at, son. That ain't no small deer. We're going to go ahead and zoom in. Bet one of the best things about the KG truck camera, you can just zoom right on into that deer. I don't know if that's drop time. As you may or may not be able to tell, um, the picture's a little bit blurry. Now we may have more pictures of him. Let's go ahead and flip a little bit. Okay, nothing there. Maybe moved on through. Here's a daytime picture. Doesn't look like anything. Nothing. A little bit more evening. Nothing. And whenever I say nothing, that doesn't mean that nothing was here. That could be a squirrel that we're not going to dive in depth enough to look at. Okay, we got something back in there, but mm, all we can really see is a body, so nothing in that picture. And then there we actually are today. I will say, I've actually hunted up here since I set out the trail camera, and I sat out here for about four hours. I absolutely nothing but like 18 squirrels, so kind of doesn't surprise me that we didn't get anything on camera. I'm going to take this camera up. I mean, we know it's a decent spot, but the doe activity is just not here. And honestly, guys, at the moment, I was kind of just looking for a doe whenever I've been bow hunting. And I mean, there's a really big buck here. We can't confirm that it's drop time, even though I don't really know if drop time is even drop time anymore. I'm sure y'all have seen it from the title. Um, I have some evidence that may lead that drop time is actually bucky. That's that's big. Like, that's actually big. <laughs> I'm going to dive on into it later and show you. But I'm going to go ahead, put up the trail camera. I don't know. We'll set it out later. I've got another one I want to check. Oh, the seat's wet. Well, Kendall, that's what happens when it rains. I know, Jennifer. Just leave me alone. Gosh. But anyways, guys. Oh, come on, you. All right, sweet. Uh, the Travis Shack on wheels been having a few problems uh, turning back on sometimes. It doesn't like to run. But luckily today it ran. I'm going to turn off the camera now because if I try to drive with one hand, I very well may drive over a cliff, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm serious. But for real, though, I'll see you later. Our second location for the trail camera is actually a completely different location, pretty good ways away. So it should be targeting for the most part completely different deer. I really don't think we'll see drop time at this location. But if we do, that'll really show that well drop time's been moving some miles. But since I set out the cameras, I've also hunted out of that tree stand. I just seen two does, okay? I almost took the shot, but they just they just wasn't in range. Now here is the other KG trail camera. Stinking love this thing. If you want one yourself, kindlegrade1.com slash shop. First link in the description. Absolutely perfect Christmas gift if you'd like to, you know, go ahead and ask Santa Claus. May not be a bad idea if you know what I mean. But we'll go ahead and turn this sucker on and see what we can get here. My prediction, mostly does, maybe a few dogs. Okay, come on in here to replay. We have 53 pictures, so definitely more. We'll go ahead and flip pretty fast through these. Okay, like I, I was correct, there is a bunch of dogs. A bu oh my gosh, that's that's the drop, that's drop time. Actually, I don't know if that's drop time. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. It's drop time. As far as I know, that's drop time. That's drop time. As far as I can tell, that's him. That's at 7, that's, I mean, that's 10 o'clock at night, 1030. That's going to be tough to kill that. So, uh, it looks like our little doe. We'll go ahead and keep on flipping a little bit faster. What we're looking for is bucks, of course, but then does during daylight hours because I'm still open to try to kill a doe with a bow even if it's after the rut. Nothing so far. We're just going to keep on flipping. Basic stuff, which is nothing. Probably a bunch of squirrels if we're going to be completely honest. There's me up in the tree stand moving around a little bit. And there's me walking out. Don't it look so cool? Look like I'm a stinking spitz now. I look, I've never looked cooler than in an infrared trail camera picture. But anyways, just keep on flipping. Let's see if we can see any deer. Any deer. Okay, there's a deer. 
What time is that? It's four. It's five o'clock around the evening, and it is a stinking. Oh my gosh! You're stinking kidding me! You're stinking kidding me! You're kidding! Me. I don't even know if y'all can see this. I'm sorry if y'all can't see what I'm looking at, but that is a mighty fine buck. That is a mighty fine buck. That might even be bigger than stinking drop time. That's at five o'clock, guys. You'll know a bigger secret. That was five o'clock today, literally 20 minutes ago. He was literally down here when I left the house. I'm gonna head out of here and go up to the woods. I mean, go back to the house. And that is where I will touch on our conspiracy theory, which I honestly think is real because I have some pretty astonishing proof that I think you guys would really be interested in seeing. <laughs> okay guys, here in a few minutes I'm going to be diving into why drop time is Bucky. But first, I mean a lot of you guys have no idea who Bucky is. And even for you guys who do know who Bucky is, I think it'd be a great time for a little refresher. I'm going to do a little screen recording and we're going to watch clips of videos leading up to now. And all the times we actually seen Bucky. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start sharing my screen. We're going to go over a brief little view of who in the world is Bucky. And why is he so famous? Okay guys, starting off first, the day I shot Bucky, here we go. November 7th, 2016, here's what happened. Long time ago. That's about all you need to know for now. Basically what happened was I had a six pointer come up on me while I was deer hunting. Of course, I wanted to kill the six pointer. I was bow hunting. I was young. I was, it was in 2016. That's like what, eight years ago? I literally shot it at the worst time possible. He was, he was looking away from me and I took the shot anyhow. Like, you know, you're supposed to wait until he gets broadside or at least a little broadside. I just shot him straight in the back, okay? From this video, you can't tell a lot, but after, but, but after this hunt, I was like, man, I think I just killed a deer and I'm not going to be able to find it. Also, my bow was only on like 45 pounds, which is enough to kill a deer if you make a good shot, which I did not. So, never found him. Until November 9th, two days later. You can see the arrow in his back. Kind of funny, but not funny, but it's really funny. But what's important here is that you look at where the arrow is. From what we can tell, it's pretty center back, okay? But later we'll see that it's directly above his, like, shoulder blade. See the arrow you in his back, then? Yeah. <laughs> That's him. Definitely. And so yeah guys, basically we found deer with my arrow in its back. That was so weird and I didn't even think that was real. But it literally keeps going. If you look up here, we got plenty of videos, buddy. We got a lot of videos. This one, November 18th, that's, that's nine days later. I was sitting dog proofs and I saw Bucky. Here he is. Bucky is still alive. That's my six pointer with my arrow in its back. Oh my God. Gosh, look at his little horns. Yep, he's definitely a six. I'm no longer doubting it. He is an entire six pointer. Still got my arrow. I'm going to grunt at him and see what he does. Guys, he didn't move a muscle. I'm gonna get up and see if this guy will move. He's not moving. So at this point, I had decided this guy's like not going down at all. Well, I mean, he's not bleeding internally, otherwise he'd be dead after uh, 20 days. And he's definitely not getting an infection because he's perfectly fine. I mean, he does act a little skittish where he doesn't move sometimes, but he's so, like, he's so used to humans. You'll see that as we go on. He's, like, used to people. Here on this one. There went Bucky. Guys, I came back here in the field going to check my snares, and, uh, I, Bucky was right there. Bucky, guys. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to go find him. 
There he is. There he is. See what I'm saying? Like, Bucky's a pretty uh, tame deer in a way. Not that he's like a pet deer, but he's just used to humans. And he's literally seen me and my voice so much. I guess he just isn't scared of me because he obviously knows I can't kill him. Should I go get my bow and come shoot him? Guys, Bucky is straight up standing 35 yards from me. Oh, now he's broadside. But, uh, I'm not going to shoot him right now. Um, the day I almost killed Bucky. Okay, this is the day after. Uh, I guess I was doing daily vlogs back then. I was, actually. Oh, my gosh. Guys, that is Bucky himself. Goodness. I'm putting the big camera down. I'm putting my backpack off. If you see audience, if someone says this, I'm going, I'm going prone. I'm crawling. Oh my gosh, my heart went. Well, obviously, it didn't go prone like I said, did I? That's interesting. So here I was stalking Bucky. All that was between us was a small six inch tree. I just got the tree in between me and Bucky's head, but Right at the end, I was peeking out around the tree, and that's when he turned around. Okay, guys, well, I didn't get him. <laughs> On to this one, black powder hunting. Okay, December 19th. What was that? Um, what, 18 days later or something like that? Oh, my gosh. There he is, the beast. And the arrow's starting to fall out. As you can see, the arrow is 100% not sticking out of his back. It's almost fell out. He is, he is alive. And there's a doe. Uh, I'm going to the house, guys. I'll see you later. Oh, with the purple crocs. Okay, I, I go ahead and I shoot my muzzle loader. Then, over here, 2016, this happened. Okay, 2017. Guys, this is completely not supposed to happen. I'm out here on a random day just walking around with Lucky. It's too windy to make a video, but, you know, I just I found something pretty awesome. So, you know, I'm just walking through here. I half know where I am, but look what I just found in my path. Do y'all see that arrow? That right there was the arrow that has been in Bucky's back. Oh my gosh. Bucky was here, right here, and his arrow fell out of his back. But yeah, the arrow fell out, so there's no exact way to identify him anymore. Or so I thought. This is actually 2017. This is about a year later, a little bit less than a year. Look for him right here. Oh, dang it! This is how we know it's Bucky. Now, this was 2017, but this is how we're going to know. There he is. Y'all see him? Oh, oh my God. Dude. Dude, there's Bucky. Do you guys see him? That's Bucky. So, uh, that deer right there, that's Bucky. That deer, I don't know who that is. Dude, that's Bucky. And he's still, he's not camera shy. Dude, he knows what's happening. He knows he's famous. He's, uh, he's Bucky. Like, bro, what's good? I ain't seen you in a while, my dude. Look how big you are, man. You're stinking giant now. Oh man, he's a stinking nice eight pointer. Hey, bub, look at me. You're a good one now. Dang, man, that's a gosh almighty. And you can tell it's Bucky because look at the flap on his back. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, the flap. Oh, oh, Bucky's back. The best thing.
saying he is like he's just now running off and I've been screaming at him for like three minutes. He's actually pretty photogenic if you ask me. He's pretty much just a savage on steroids if you ask me. Like, dude, I think he shot him with an arrow and it's stuck in his back for like three months. And now he's still walking around mocking me because he knows it's not season right now. And last year he was a six-pointer, but this year, guys, he's not a bad deer at all. I'm not exactly sure what he was. I think he might be an eight-pointer or maybe a smaller ten, but... See you, Bucky. Hopefully I'll kill your butt one day. See you, Bucky. I'll see you later. Well, guys, I'm back. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're, now we're turning on to the end. That's the last video footage you have of, like, him in person. The key thing you gotta take from that, the flap. And that is where we're gonna come on over. I'm gonna exit off this. And here we have some pictures right here. All right, so here's some, here's some pictures that I've gathered lately. Okay. Pose, you may be saying. Dude, in 2017, he was an eight pointer. Drop time's an eight pointer right now. That doesn't make any sense. Wouldn't he have got bigger? He knows my voice. He knows who I am. That's our. And his entire life. And if I see drop time, I will drop him. If you want to support the channel in any way, kindlegray1.com slash shop. But there's one thing I would like to say. You see this shirt right here? It's pretty epic. I'm gonna go change. I think it's only appropriate if we end it out with a Bucky Doesn't Play Game shirt. I've not mentioned this shirt in about two years, but that's because I thought Bucky was gone. But he's not, guys. You can look. It's the. It's literally the arrow in his back. Oh my gosh. Insert rock music now. Anyways, guys, I tell you what, I'm gonna end it off now. If you wanna pick up this shirt, I'm gonna run it. KendallGrayWall.com slash off or first link in the description. But anyways, guys, I will see you later. This is crazy, and I cannot wait for rifle season. We are gonna kill Bucker! Hit the hotel button on KendallGrayWall.com slash off. Hashtag cheat it. Hashtag go again. Peace.